Several years ago, my wife and I lost two pregnancies, and I wanted to know why pregnancy loss happens. I'm a scientist, so I started reading all the science I could about it. I was shocked to learn that roughly half of human pregnancies are lost naturally, many before there's any indication of the pregnancy. I read that the leading cause of pregnancy loss in humans is meiosis. Meiosis is the intricate cellular line dance by which we take our two sets of chromosomes, swirl them together, and produce cells like sperm or eggs that have only one set of chromosomes. I read that humans in particular have problems with meiosis, leading to sperm and egg cells with the wrong number of chromosomes and embryos that can't develop correctly. Next, I asked, are humans really so different in this? Meiosis is used by everything that reproduces sexually, and failed development is a problem for so many living things from lizard eggs that don't hatch to palm seeds that don't germinate. Could meiosis, I wondered, disrupt development right across plants and animals? Now, answering that question is hard, because everything that reproduces sexually uses meiosis. But many organisms also reproduce asexually, and some of those don't use meiosis. I thought, if meiosis causes developmental failure, then asexual reproduction that avoids meiosis, like in damselflies, should produce offspring that are more likely to survive development than their sexual damselfly relatives. Asexual reproduction that does use meiosis, like in lizards, could lead to even more failures than sex because asexual meiosis is even more complicated. So I set out to find cases where scientists had compared sexual to closer related asexual offspring in terms of which are better able to germinate or hatch. 42 of the 44 comparisons my colleagues and I were able to find in published science, everything from fish and beetles to grass and magnolia, supported the idea that meiosis doesn't just cause human pregnancy loss. It kills eggs, it kills seeds, it kills sexual offspring, and it even kills asexual offspring. When I look at my kids, I can see myself and my wife in them, simultaneously, and I know meiosis makes that possible, but it also imposes this terrible cost in the form of lost offspring. Better understanding the downside of meiosis doesn't stop pregnancy loss from happening, but it gives us perspective on how to approach the problem.